I've died and I've gone to heaven. Last day in Greenland today. I'm very sad about that. Like super sad about that. In just a couple of days, I'm gonna be in completely different conditions. Like, let's talk extremely opposite ends of the world. Maybe try to guess where you think I am going. The last day is pretty freaking incredible. We're in Ilulissat, which is the land of the iceberg, pretty much. And we're going on a boat tour to get really nice and close to some unbelievably huge icebergs. Oh my god, this is the best! I didn't expect it to be so cute! <laughs> Yeah. There are two words. <laughs> I need more than one. If I die now, I'll die a happy person. I would describe it as heaven. I've died and I've gone to heaven. This is the most pristine, untouched, pure place on earth. And we're here. Standing at your doorstep. just inside downstairs trying to warm my feet because it is really really cold really cold and I came back up and I walked outside and I was like Whoa! oh yeah <laughs> this is where I am this place is it's breathtaking like I've never seen anything like this it's just pure ice like ice surrounding me with 10% sticking out from the top and 90% of it being at the bottom that's mind-blowing I love it <laughs> is 40 meters high 350 meters down that's how different it is in 1970s they used to go up to 100 meters so double the size and now they've shrunk so much have you ever seen an iceberg yeah. flip yeah wow. one like this big yeah wow, wow. amazing you are deep within me Always in a fever, always on my skin All of us take the same road, try to understand There's no way we can win The seals are so cute the way they go, you can't really see but they're like, oh, they're hilarious In this life Like a rebirth, like I feel coming out of that is 
new, something changed. This is one of the best weeks of my life, for sure. See you later, pants. Seriously, insanely warm. I do understand how seals stay in that freezing cold water for so long. The only part of my body that was cold ever was my toes and my um, hands, but otherwise, so warm. You've been watching my sister for six, seven years. Yes, we have. Oh my God, Steph! That's so funny that we just figured that out. <laughs> Hi, Steph. Hi, Steph. Yeah. 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 Wow, Steffi, you're famous. And we love ferrets. Oh. You really helped us out with our two ferrets. You we did. learned a lot. Yes, you did. It's like one kilometer. Okay. That's not far. All right, another adventure with Parastu. In the middle of nowhere, everything is white. Um, the cab just um, dropped us off, and he told us just to go straight. And um, we have no idea where we're going. No idea. Oh. 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 Let's trial it. Oh god, there it is again. Holy shit, what are we doing? Oh, this is adventure time, man. The icebergs, the beautiful, and the path, we don't know where it is. Super interesting, so we like walk down, and then five minutes later we were coming back up, but we couldn't really find where we were going, because everything's white, everything. And we sort of had to really look to find this path. That's so strange. They can get lost so quickly. It's luckily we're not going all the way down because it's dark and we could have gotten lost. Go back. Okay, come back. Okay, you go, come back. I'm going to be gangsters. That's all I want. Yeah, we're not pretending like we don't see the camera. Oh, that smells so good. Potatoes? Miranda and potatoes. Salmon. I decided to have salmon because honestly, I am getting a little bit <laughs> like my body's not really reacting too much to meat. So it's nice to just kind of stick to fish. Uh, this is traditional Danish stuff. Let's have a little taste. <laughs> it's always weird eating food in front of the camera. Salmon. Delicious. Are some of you as uh, amazing? Famous? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, you think he was gonna ask you if you were famous? He was gonna ask me. <laughs> no, I, we know what he meant. He just switched his question. Charles, <laughs> <laughs> you're undressing someone right now. Something. Yeah, I feel kind of odd. It's a bit. I, does he have a jewel in his belly button? <laughs> no. <laughs> does he have a jewel? Yes, in his pants. <laughs> Last night in Greenland, dinner complete. Now we're gonna make the most of it, and the crew's gonna sit around and have breakfast and talk more deep and spiritual things, which we've been doing the whole time, which is really, really fun. Tomorrow we'll be in Copenhagen. It's been one of the most incredible experiences, so I'm not sad, but it's something I will never, ever forget. This has been the best farewell from Greenland that I could have asked for. Thank you so much for everyone that was involved. Thank you, Larissa and Visit Greenland for organizing this trip for me. Oh, there's plenty more videos I'm gonna do, lots of standalone videos about Greenland just to showcase the nature and the people in a more beautiful, artistic way instead of just vlogs. Because I think you have to make, you have to try to do this place justice because of its beauty and because of the culture and the people, which I will forever admire. And thank you for being part of my lives, everyone, during this trip. You have changed me forever. I will never be the same person. I am so grateful for this and I'm still pinching myself that this was possible so thank you. Thank you so much. And visit Greenland. Be a pioneer and trust me coming to the places like this you are a pioneer and you're seeing some of the best untouched things in the entire world. Experiences you cannot possibly forget. Yeah.